Hi, I'm BJ Go and welcome to Raptor Sports Time Out, where we'll be interviewing athletes about what they're doing right now. One month after the lockdown, I'm sure most parents have been spending more time with their kids. Askels and Saras Negras midfielder Stefan Schrock likewise is a young dad and athlete who is managing his time between football training and parenting. So let's find out how he's doing this. So, hi, Shrocky. How are things over there? It's been a month after lockdown. Hi, B. So far, everything um, is a bit annoying, but it's, it's, uh, it's okay. It's okay. We deal with it. So, how has it been annoying then? Is it because of the training or is it because of the usual like life in quarantine, going to the groceries and everything? Life. It affects pretty much everything. Uh, not only the training, also the family daily routine is a little bit um, loose at the moment, but there's always good sides in some things and uh, they always shine through. Mm, I see. So speaking of schedules, what's your daily schedule like now? Uh, for the last weeks, I wake up at 6.30 so I can uh, have a little bit training without the kids. Uh, then my oldest is in grade one, so his online school starts distance learning. Starts at uh, 7.55, so we're pretty much occupied with that the whole uh, whole morning until 12.30, 12.35, somewhere there. And then a highlight of the day is having lunch and dinner. And then what do you do in the afternoons? Just try to entertain the kids, keep them busy with uh, playing with them or drawing something, inventing something. We, we try to keep the kids busy as, as good as possible. Wow. So uh, going back to the online learning of your eldest, how, how is it like like the setup of this? Is it like a summer school or is it uh, with there's a curriculum for it? Yeah. Pretty much they try to do the curriculum what they used to do in school now via Zoom or Teams. So it's uh, it's like a full school day, except of that I am the teacher. You're the teacher. <laughs> More or less. You're the teacher. You and your wife are teaching or just you? Uh, it's more me than, than her. Um, I'm having more patience, so it's not easy to to educate or teach your own kid, especially when uh, when he's in grade one and the common sense is, is not there yet with, with numbers or uh, dots at the end of a sentence, so it's, it's, uh, it's a good challenge. Wow, so you have to teach everything from math, science, English. Is there Filipino or no? No, no, no. Um, yeah, basically everything. We get uh, stuff from the school. Sometimes they have calls with the teachers or with the classmates. So we're helping each other out as, as good as possible. Maybe after quarantine, you're going, you can be a teacher again. <laughs> you can uh, be yeah. a teacher for your kids already. <laughs> no, I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, so... Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, going into football, uh, who gives you your trading program? Uh, is it still Saras or is it or what about the Askels? Mm, no, um, we had no fitness coach at the point where the quarantine kicked in. So everybody at the moment is a little bit on their own. But we have a very very good work ethic. Uh, between or in the team anyway so uh, it's not a problem everybody tries to to keep himself fit in the best possible way so some have a garden some live in a house some only have the unit so everybody tries to do their best and keep in shape i see do you share workouts with your teammates yeah we do discuss um some some workouts some uh some things what we can do where you can actually work out or do a do a training session uh, with me. It's the parking lot basically, or the stairs, um, which is helping me a lot. And uh, I never appreciated the stairs so much as I do now. 
Wow, the stairs. How how many floors do you go up and down from? I live in the 53rd floor, so there's a good way to go. 53rd floor. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of flights of stairs. Yeah, yeah, actually yeah. there is. And so what's the update right now with the team and the Azkals? Because you were actually supposed to face Bali United yesterday for the uh, for the AFC Cup. Uh, um, we got informed yesterday that's, that the AFC competitions, everything which is under the AFF for Southeast Asia is postponed until further notice. Um, I don't know if you're aware there should be the Champions League of the AFF uh, leagues starting end of May. So this got postponed already to 2021. So with the AFC itself, we have basically no clue how, if and when it will continue because there will be uh, travel restrictions after the lockdown of every country or so. It's it's uh, pretty much affecting everything, but uh, nevertheless, we cannot do nothing except of wait and be patient. Wait, be patient, continue training as if there's another competition, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the, the Philippine Football about- League should yeah. start uh, as soon as the quarantine lockdown is over or modified, so... At least we have a competition to focus on. Yes, that's true. And what about the Ascals in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers? Have you been in contact with the coaches and your teammates? Yes, yeah, with uh, coach, with coach Scoop, I'm, I'm uh, very good in, or oh, pretty much every second day in touch, talking about what can be, should be, will happen, and. Uh, I just saw an interview yesterday. Some FIFA vice president said he doubt pretty much that this year there will be a international game in 2020. So uh, let's see how everything turns out. I see. What activities have you planned out for your kids? Planned out is nothing, but we. I have two boys at home, so pretty much we uh, fighting the whole day having. Uh, the Marvel collection here in the house <laughs> like my kids uh, they like Spider-Man Iron Man and all those things so we are busy shooting at each other with the spider web or uh, I take them to the parking lot and train with them as well so at least they get to leave the condo for an hour a day so I introduce them to the oh, school okay park. so the, they're oh wow football is I guess it's a good time to to just practice like moving the ball like even within the parking lot yeah it is it is uh you have to just um yeah watch out for the cars there's no bigger damage than uh then everything will be fine i hope one-on-one coaching (laughs) (laughs) Uh, it's not like they appreciate me as a coach so much yet but they will later on Oh, what are the stressful things um, as a parent right now in quarantine, aside from online learning and figuring out things to do? Like, do your kids care- crave for some f- food or they- do they crave to go out or go somewhere? Um, yes, there is difficulties, of course. They used to have see their friends at the playground or... Uh, at the swimming pool, we used to spend a lot of time um, here nearby as the Shangri-La, Shangri-La indoor playing ground. And uh, my my second one, he is really a handful. Uh, he likes to, uh, let's say, erase his uh, very, very high energy there, release it there. And that's missing, of course. But this is uh, complaining on a high level. Um, we still can figure out things here in the condo or in the parking lot to do. And there's a much worse situation out there in, in the Philippines and all over the world. And it just, uh, 
the complaints about the kids going to the pool or want to have donuts. If your kids are taking it more positive, more positively, that you know that they're understanding the situation and they're trying to not complain also. Yes, um, my second son is uh, only three years old, and of course he has uh, his five minutes a day where he's uh, not really understanding what is going on outside. But um, if you live for them positively and give them positive thoughts, so they will be. Uh, we rather we rather stick to explain to them that after the uh, lockdown you appreciate things more. So for now we stick to the basics. Wow, that's so true. I think everyone should be given that explanation also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, then how do you s- get to relax then? Because everything seems so, uh, your schedule seems so tight. Like you have to wake up early to train, and then you teach, and then you have to still play with your kids. So, do you still get time? Do you still find time for yourself and for your wife? Um. Sounds negative when you say it. Uh, I don't see it that way. I tell myself it's. Uh, I'm young. I'm a young dad, and I enjoy the time that I have them. 15, 16 hours for myself. Even though at times it gets rough and it gets a little loud or or uh, chaotic, but I enjoy it overall. And um, so far, I don't have the need or feel the need to have a one hour by myself or on my own oh i'm glad i'm really happy for you so do you have tips for um athletes and young dads like you in taking care of uh, kids during quarantine uh no it's each and every one is individual i choose to not complain and see the positive things and it's all in your mind if you tell yourself it's a bad feeling then it is a bad feeling but uh, I choose to tell myself it's a very good feeling so it is a very good feeling what's the first thing you're going to do when all of this in the I mean like the world of sport is very uncertain but then when all of this is over what is the first thing that you would want to do Uh, I want to train on a pitch I want to have football shoes on I want to feel the ball uh, training with my teammates uh, and get to enjoy the beautiful game. Uh, this is all all I did in the in my whole life, and this is probably the longest time in in the last ten years I'm not to get play football or wearing my football cleats without being injured. So I I hope it it will uh, be over after April 30 and we have some training sessions again. Yes. Okay, so thank you so much, Rock, for joining us in this Raptor Sports Timeout interview. And good luck to you. And I hope that you you would enjoy you would continue enjoying your time with your kids and your family. I will. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.